fuck you, Anakin. Just it's just the way it all just turned out. The prequels, you know, and I'm like, someone needs to save this franchise. Someone needs to save this franchise, and we got a good director. You know, that act, uh, that you know uh, when uh, Disney actually bought the rights to all the Star Wars movies and announced that they were going to do a seventh one, people freaked out over the fact that oh, they're going to destroy the Star Wars. Pre- they're going to destroy the Star Wars franchise when it was already destroyed to begin with. Yeah, <laughs> it was down on the fucking fuck. ditch. It, George Lucas destroyed the franchise with the prequels. So in actuality, Disney is pretty much the day once again because Marvel. Pretty cause much, Marvel, they actually bought Marvel and Pixar, and, um, so they and nothing has changed. Yeah, and the helping and the. I'm, I, because the Marvel movies, they were taking so ass time to make, and uh, so I was, I was like, oh wow, did when this when I heard Disney bought Marvel, I was like, thank God, someone saved Marvel, because I didn't know they were gonna make uh, more films because they were just, they were, they weren't making more, more, they weren't, what's that word, more fast enough? Um, Jason. Produ- producing and making and getting them out there and it, Disney saves the day and they're giving them money and they're helping them and it's just, it, I, I clap my hands on them and they help and they, and they got it and, real, and I really can't wait for the, the start the beginning of the uh, uh, Avengers second wave I I, I just I find I can't wait for Iron Man 3 I can't wait for a Spider-Man uh, Amazing Spider-Man 2 to come out Oh uh, yeah, I heard Rhino is gonna be in Amazing Spider-Man too, and Black Cat. Who? What? Yeah. All oh, right. Black Cat. Yeah, Black Cat too. Wait. Under the Togs. Under the Togs. And Rhino. There we got the Rhino who's gonna play in my. God, his name. <sighs> Paul Giamatti. Yeah, him. He 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 he's he's gonna be in. Rhino's gonna be in it, and Electro. Maybe Green Goblin, maybe uh, Black Cat. Well, I'm like, I don't know. I mean, I just don't want to see Green Goblin in the movies yet. Um, especially when we have, especially when we see uh, Green Goblin in uh, Spider Man's one, two, and three. Oh already. God, I don't like, want to think of Tobey Maguire in Spider Man yeah. anymore. That was torture. Pizza time. Yeah. <laughs> yes. The only good things that are in the Sam Raimi films are the internet memes that spawn from it. Wait, wait, wait. You're telling me Toby McGuire saying pizza time? That turned into a meme? I think so. It's just. Okay, the original Sam Raimi, the original trilogy, original series, whatever you want to call it, they were not great. As adaptations. They're not. Like Neil said, they really missed the point of being. Well, I'm going to say that Spider Man 2 was over fucking rated. Yeah. Yeah. And people praise that. People say it's it's the best film. Really? Really? What's the fucking appeal? And I've seen no. I've seen. I have all three movies. I haven't got the Amazing Spider Man. I've been meaning to. But yeah, I, and like, no, uh, you actually, no, that's not the greatest superhero movie of time. I'm sorry, that goes to the Dark Knight. No, no, no. no I said the Avenger, the Avengers movie. That, that, and I uh, prefer that Dark Knight. Like, it has more meaning. It's, it's a lot like more going for it. it yeah, it's, it, okay. That film is a per, is a is a Batman, Batman, Batman movie. If you. I looked at it, I looked at it as that movie as a Batman film only, not the greatest superhero film of all time. To me, the Avengers film is the mm-hmm. best, is the, the greatest superhero movie of all time. You ask me. It, it's a good film, but me, I'm saying that the uh, Amazing Spider-Man is the top film. Oh yeah, that, that comes second. That comes that. that... Uh, no, screw your logic. The Amazing Spider-Man is the top. Okay. Uh, the, 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 then comes then comes the then comes the Avengers, and then on you know, Dark Knight. Dark Knight. Well, okay. All right. Well, we'll, we'll, okay. We'll just we'll we'll put I, that. We'll way. say um. The that. Well, I 
I'm not the Superman film. I'm not sure how that's gonna do. I mean, like, I'm not too sure how they're gonna do it. That film. That film. Oh yeah, they're gonna do. They're gonna do well. They're gonna do well. I've seen Watchmen, and that movie's a good. It's a good movie. It's. But it, Edgar, it the, slow the thing is with little, Zack Snyder directing it, he doesn't do characters. He's not a very good character director from what I've seen of his work. But, yeah, true. You got well, a point there. Well, the film is being written by Christopher. Maybe Nolan, if Christopher so, Nolan brings his A game, if he brings his uh, D game like he did with Dark Knight Rises, we're going to be in some problems. I think it's gonna. I think it's gonna be safe. I think we're gonna be good. I want a. I want a Superman. I. I want. This is a first start. A for a fresh start of Superman. If this film doesn't work. We, there is no, there will be no more Superman films. I guarantee you. No, there will be. I beg to differ. There will always be more interpretations of the Man of Steel. Yeah, and I'm talking about movie wise. No, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Whether it be movie wise, television wise, they're always going to make more. Yeah, but. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, this, yeah, this is the other thing, Edgar, about yeah, Zach, yeah, um, yeah. Zack Snyder. It, yeah, Sucker Punch is yeah, his no, fucking so, guilt. It so, was so, his wet yeah, dream. I know, I know it. Um, it's not just that though. Three hundred. That movie looked visually great, but no real character development, and the story was weak. It was. A, it was a. It was a pretty much a a every scene of the movie. Okay, this is exactly what he said. From the 300 movie and the Watchmen movie, this is a, he, he pretty much put scene for scene in the Watchmen movie, Watchmen movie and the 300 movie. Yeah, I hear you. That, that's my. You hear me? Uh, it's just that I hope that I that's my minor hope. Just don't do that with Superman. He's an interesting character. You could do interesting storylines with this character, but every time I see this character, he usually something fucks up. Well, looking at it this way, I'm confident the film will, will do good, because I've only, I've seen about half of Sucker Punch. I couldn't get through the entire film. But oh, I, the bright... I was, a, I, was I, I, wanted, I wanted to plow through that movie. Yeah, go on. Yeah, and when I was watching it, the film didn't make any sense, but the action scenes were great. I mean, they were visually stunning. I mean, True. but you know, he can do action very well. So, okay. in my point, I mean, if you're going by storyboard wise, you know, uh, you know, going, you know, this scene to this scene, it looks like, you know, doing it like that, it's going to be good. But it's going also going to be based on. No one's writing, and yeah. if did, did he write the uh, Batman films? I believe so. Yeah, he did. He pretty much did. Yeah, all three of them. And he's proven to be faithful to the Batman franchise. Getting, yeah. I'll I'll omit the uh, Rises film. Sorry, what pisses me off? You like it? Still not committed yet to uh, giving it another shot. But, it, it, yeah. it's a dis- I always say to him, it's always it's going to be a disappointment. It'll always be a da- it will, I will always look at that film, and I think people will look at that that film is it's a disappointment. We wanted to see the we wanted, problem. We wanted more, and we didn't get it. If he likes it. Let him like it. He- yeah, I'll let him like it. But just to me, I, I, hell, I like Iron Man too. But. I, you, you, I, I was oh, Iron Man too. God damn it, man. Do, do I really That's why I'm not looking Iron forward Man to Man Iron Man 3. I'm kind of like, uh... Well, he, he, let's look at this, people. Iron Man, okay. Oh, alright. We'll have... Uh, we, we gotta have one bad movie. And one one bad sequel, Okay. I will admit it's not that good. I will freely admit that film is not that great. Yeah, I. You agree, guys? Yeah, we're still there. 
Yeah, you agree, Iron you Man agree 3? with me that it's not that great. It's Iron Man 2, yeah, Iron Man 2 was bad. It was terrible. No, Iron Man 2. Yeah, Iron Man 2. Iron Man 2 was a piece of shit, man. I, 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 it was I, a flip. It was, yeah, it it was, was a, just, it, yeah, go on. It was a flip of Iron Man. Iron Man 1 had good storytelling, but action was a little shortened, you know. Yeah. But here, I mean, with the first one, not much CGI. Iron Man 2, bland story, rushed the, the uh, alcoholism yeah, it was, it was subplot. Rushed. It was rushed because Marvel... Marvel, I blame Marvel for Marvel for rushing Iron Man Two. <clears throat> um, yeah, I do own the movie because I I I I, I, I have to get it. But anyway, I, it, I to me, I just looked at it as just rushed because I think that Iron Man, I think Marvel thought we gotta make Iron Man Two, we gotta make Iron Man Two, we gotta make Iron Man Two, and they were, huh? Who wrote Iron Man 2? You, you know what, though? Fucking I will say I'll this, though. Out. Of all the surprise I, I, Marvel movies, the one that was actually surprisingly good, and I mean actually enjoyable, was was a good film? Thor. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thor, I was very scared at, because I don't know how... I, I was very scared that how they're going to put the God of Thunder in live action. And it was, and it was just, it was actually good. I was like, God damn, it was, it was actually enjoyable. Um, okay, it was really I, good. I found the guy who wrote, uh, who wrote Iron Man two. The guy, his Ooh. name is Justin Therox or some shit like that. Let's see, uh, what he wrote besides that piece of shit. Um, I, I, I like, I like, well, okay. You, if you if you ask me who was the best who was the good character that I liked in Iron Man Two, War Machine, and Black Widow. Well, obviously, say, obviously you're gonna like Black Widow because Scarlett Johansson. Yeah, she's she not was, anything. She, yeah, yeah, she was. She's a good. She's a. She's also good. Well, what I don't get is, um, in Iron Man Two, we, we never got that scene that was in the. Uh, TV what? spot, you know, where it's when Natasha is still posing as his, uh, I guess, what, secretary or someone who would just basically help him out, do uh, stuff for, well, you know, or help, you know, like his, uh, I, I guess you could say secretary, if you will, and she gets him a, a drink and he's like, you know, she hands him a, a dirty martini and he asks him, is that dirty enough for you? And he he gives her a look like, oh, it's, it's getting there. Be like, you know, it's getting there to being dirty. Yeah, yeah. And it, it, it was, it was just, I just looked at it. I just, okay. Iron Man 2 was just, it was just rushed. And, but I, um, I, I, I still accept it. Even the fucking villain was a joke. The, the final fight was. Uh, wow, well, I just found something out that's kind one. of like, what the fuck? Why are they doing that? Guess. They're making a Toy Story okay, 4. Uh, what is it, Ash? I just saw it's announced. What? Toy what? Story 4. Hold on. Really? Well, just put it in the I'm link. Like, put it in the link of the Skype. No, no, no. Okay? This is... I'll put I'll this in the link. I just saw this. I'm like, here. what? But they did it so perfectly. How could they fuck up? God. Damn it! Why Toy Story Four? Why can't you just make an Incredibles Two? I mean, Incredibles Two, The Incredibles was a good movie. Why ignoring that? God damn it! That was a good one. Out of all I the um, seen t Toy Story Three. Out of all the uh, tw Pixar, I'm not a big Pixar fan, but they that was a good one. Yeah, really? Incredible? No, wait. Toy Story 4? Why? I mean, granted, I do like all the Toy Story movies, but what's the point? What's the fucking point? Well, the, did that the, the little girl at the end that Andy gave uh, Woody to? Was all it just toys. Woody Andy gave away, or was it all uh, of his toys? All 